Hi everyone and welcome to Bright Spark Media. My name is Angelique and today I'm going to talk to you about the brand new Facebook timeline cover photo. It'll take about three minutes to go through this tutorial and it's really easy to set up a picture and install it in your Facebook page. So I hope you've all had a great Christmas and enjoyed your holidays. And on December 28th, Facebook did a universal rollout of their new Facebook timeline. So you can do lots of different things with it. But the biggest thing you'll probably notice is the panoramic size photo that's on your personal profile. So we're going to start by editing a picture and I'm going to use some free software. It's available on the internet and it's called PhotoFlexer. So just go ahead and type that into a search and open it up. And we're going to jump right in and just upload a photo. You can actually create an account, but you don't have to. And if you've got Photoshop or something like that at home, you can go ahead and use it. But PhotoFlexer is free and it's really versatile and can do a lot of different things. So you do need to be connected to the internet to use it because it is cloud-based. So you don't need to download the software, it just works from the internet. And you can edit your pictures from Photobucket or Picasa or Flickr, but we're gonna do it from a picture that we upload from our computer. So go ahead and click Upload. Now before I start a project, I always make a file folder on my desktop and have all the pictures in it that I'm going to use for a project. So I've already done that, and I'm just going to open up the sunset picture. Now the Facebook timeline picture is 850 by 315 pixels. You can actually change it in Photoshop, but we're going to do the cropping in here just to do a little sample tutorial for you. Now you'll notice there's lots of different features here in PhotoFlexer and we'll go through different tutorials as they come up. But today we're going to use the Crop tool, so it's under the Basic tab and click on Crop. And when you do a crop, if you click and then drag your cursor, you'll notice that the numbers are increasing on that little box right beside your cursor. So you want it to be pretty close and it's 850 by 315 I said so right there is good and once you let go you'll see some little boxes now those little squares on the edges you can actually click and drag those and just readjust it so you can make it whatever size you want so 850 by 315 is what we're looking for and that's pretty close and you can do a little bit of adjustment in Facebook once you upload it as well so once you're happy with where it's placed click on crop the selected area and then it shows you what your crop's going to look like. Now that looks pretty good so I'm going to save it and leave it in the JPEG format, that's what you want, and save to my computer. So I'm going to change the file name and click Save Now. And it's just going to confirm where you want to save it. So this is the folder that I created on my desktop. And then click on Save. So it's doing that by itself and I'm going to click on over to another tab and go ahead and sign in to my Facebook page. Now I've already signed in so just go ahead and log into your Facebook account. And you want to click on your name, not on the home page. So click on your name, which is already where I am. And when you first open up your account, if you haven't already added any pictures into your cover, it's going to come up with this little box here that says add a cover. If you already have a cover, um, if you did the mouse over, it would give you this little box somewhere on that picture. So we're going to click on it and add a cover. And you could choose pictures that you already have in your Facebook account, but we're going to choose upload photo. So again, you see that same folder that I'd saved, and here's the one that we've cropped to the right size. So click on that and open it up. 
and it shows you what it looks like so you can actually move it to reposition it but since we had it the exact size anyway it's not going to make any changes so if your picture wasn't quite the right size then just reposition it and then click on save changes and then it inserts the profile picture that you've had before and there you go in three minutes you've just created your new Facebook timeline so next time we'll get a little bit more intricate and artistic and I'll show you how to upload some different pictures and put some text on them in that photo flexor software and then we'll create some really cool fun ones so thank you for joining me it's Angelique at BrightSpark Media and I'll see you next time bye Thank you.